It has already been almost a year since the huge SpaceX Demo 2 launch of Bob and Doug. Remember, Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley lifted off from Kennedy Space Center on May 30th, 2020. Their trip to space marked the first crewed launch from U.S. soil since 2011, and the Space Coast has only gotten busier. New Six's Amanda Castro is reflecting on the history made exactly one year ago and what SpaceX and NASA have in store now for this year. One year ago, NASA astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley made history. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Liftoff of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA, go SpaceX, Godspeed, Bob and Doug. Marking the return of human space flight from our coast. On May 30th, 2020, Bob and Doug blasted off from Kennedy Space Center inside Crew Dragon for SpaceX's Demo 2 launch, a few days after their first try was scrubbed due to weather. Their trip, the first crewed launch from U.S. soil since 2011. The pair docking at the International Space Station the next day. Hurley talking about their ride to orbit and the timing of their mission during the COVID-19 pandemic. You know, we've had a really rough couple of months and just to be able to to show the country uh, what the agency's made of, what the commercial crew program did, and what SpaceX did. I hope they take some uh, pride and uh, a sense of accomplishment of seeing that. Splashdown. In August, they returned to Earth, the first spacecraft splashdown in 45 years, saying this about their mission of firsts. The mission went just like the simulators, and and I, I'm. Honestly, from start to finish, all the way, it, there was really no surprises. The greatest lesson folks can take from our experience is one of perseverance. Their perseverance paving the way for future space exploration. Since then, Crew 1 and Crew 2 have made their way back to the ISS. Crew 3 is scheduled to launch this October. And NASA is preparing to return to the moon with the Space Launch System. The space agency is still working on the uncrewed launch of Artemis 1, which could happen later this year. But just last week, crews stacked the top part of the core stage for this rocket, which will be used for Artemis II, NASA's first crewed launch of the SLS. Amanda Castro, Getting Results, News 6.